guys, Sad Shadow here. Welcome to another video and welcome to episode 3 of our Undertale Yellow Blind playthrough. So as you probably recall, we are doing a pacifist playthrough this time around. In the last episode, we explored Snowden, which was absolutely beautifully expanded upon. I was really in awe of how many different things the developers of Undertale Yellow have done with it, the different artworks, the different characters that they've introduced to this area. We got to the end of Snowden in the last episode and Martlet, one of the new characters that we met, took us off on a boat journey to the next area. We have just crash landed in that new area and I am really really excited to get started again. So with that let's go. Oh my god this is so cool. One of the really great things about this game and I think I mentioned this in the previous episode is that every time you load up this game similarly to the original Undertale game you get a slightly different screen here depending on what route you're doing and what stage you're at in the game which is a wonderful little detail. Right okay so we're in this little cave here going into the light. This is so cool already. Oh my god, it's proper cowboy town, just like Clover is. Ooh, there's a box there. Oh, that's underneath. Oh, our first enemy. June Bud popped out of the sand. Oh, he's quite cute. Look at his little eyes. <laughs> Should we do a bit of jiggling? You shake June Bud back and forth. They giggle at you. Ah, wah, wah. These tumbleweeds. I think these are tumbleweeds. Smells like sandpaper. Hats. You give June Bud a few loving pats. They nuzzle your hand. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's following me. That is a good attack though. There's some really good attacks in this. Junebud is giggling. Oh, look his old face and he's swearing. He's so happy. It's really nice to play a fan game where everything's not just really, really difficult. There's like a lot of creativity put in. What are we going to do a little bit differently? It's quite empty. Are we going to come across somebody? Oh, it's the mail. It's the mail service. Ding, ding, ding. This is a cool little feature as well. You have a watch. If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is. Mail time. Mail time. You received mail. Oh, we've actually got mail this time. Mo letter. Read. If you're reading this, it means you had the pleasure of meeting me. I'll make this snappy. You're not going to believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. I know what you're saying. I would gladly pay a full price for your products. I appreciate that. I really do. But they say at the time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy details. Huh? Where is my stand? I don't even know myself. Should probably go find that. Good luck. Mo. Slurpy letter. Not sure about that. That sounds a bit suspicious, but... Greetings, my saviour and fond acquaintance. Oh, Slurpy letter! As in, the character who had his tongue stuck... <laughs> Got it. My mind was just in a gutter somewhere. Greetings, my saviour and fond acquaintance. I would like to extend further gratitude for your assistance. If it weren't for you, my papilla would surely be permanently attached to that pole. Thanks to you, I made it home in time for supper. I must say, mother really outdid herself this time. The food was exquisite. Many thanks. Sincerely yours, Slurpy. Alert! Warning sign ahead. <laughs> Warning! Danger sign ahead. Danger! Sandstorm ahead. Take cover. Sandstorm. Double trouble. What an is that a bucket? Make it a sandcastle! Oh, that's such a cool attack! There we go. Two happy lads. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, okay. Do I have to... Oh, that's interesting. I guess that's why you have all of the... Oh, I got put, put that back to the beginning again. I wasn't hidden, apparently. Okay, so we've got to start again. Run, 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 run. Ah, oh, no. Ooh. Oh, who's that down there? What's that picture there? Oh, oh no. God damn it. No. <laughs> okay, well, I did it. But I really want to look at this. Doggy. Is that all it had to say? Maybe that was all it had to say. Okay, we've got two ways that we can go. There's a bridge here. I can't stand storm this sandstorm. <laughs> Me neither, buddy. You look like you're better dressed for it than I am, though. So hot. Oh. Where am I going to get... Okay, I'll just get put back to the end of the bridge. Well, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to go back and have a look at the other bits. 
I want to have an explore. Ooh, who's this? Is he blowing this cave out with dynamite? I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? Do it right me out, okay? You're gonna give me some of the treasure? I love that animation. Look at him every time the sun blows. His ears are like plopping back in the wind. Oh, it's a fan. Turn it off. Yes. Thank you very much. Who put that on? Why? It's probably better to leave it turned off. I agree. Bro, what's your damage? Can't a monster cool off every now and then? You're such a killjoy, bro. That's so funny. The idea that the sandstorm is just a rabbit trying to cool off in the dune. Howdy! Strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyway, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. Thank you. The artwork in this game, like as I've said many times before, is just really, really cool. Okay, let's see what is this way. Oh, it's a salesman buddy again. Okay, he's got a top hat. A top hat. Bam! Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo. Long time no see. How have you been? Don't answer that. We don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer. A hot climate calls for a hot item. Check it. Oh, that's right. I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy round here. It's called water catch it in i know lucky for you i'm giving out free samples want a glass yes please coming right up is it just evaporating <laughs> one moment ah <laughs> if you know your boy mo you know i planned all of that Here's my real product, iced tea. It's like the sequel to water. Way better. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do was throw a tea bag in there and wham. Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Iced tea, sea tea, green tea. Let's get some iced tea and let's get some... I don't want to use all my money, so I'm going to get some sea tea. Heals 10 HP, glowing tea that will jolt your system. A label reading the real deal is stuck on the glass. I mean, I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but we're going to give it a try. All right, let's carry on our little journey. Sir Slither has a proposition. Real. Sounds very, very real. Let's believe him. You buy into Sir Slither's fancy word. Something feels off. Yes. We're going to go far, you and me. Oh. Is he throwing potatoes at me? It looks like he's throwing potatoes at me. Oh my god, the snakes are making pottery. Very nice. Says to the lost access to his bank account. He wonders if he could borrow yours. Um, no. You ask Sir Slither just what he can help you with. I'm an excellent travel companion, I am. Oh, snakes. I guess we'll do the full lot and we'll doubt him now. You step away from Sir Slither. His pursuit falters. Come on, mate. Don't leave me out to dry. Throwing potatoes at me again. I mean, I'm guessing it's bits flying off the pottery as you're making it, but yeah. I'm just gonna doubt him again. You refuse to let Sister Lither become a main character. Fine, but you're missing out big. Enjoy the snake-sized hole in your heart. Oh, I will, but Ow. Can't convince you. Spare. It reminds me of Sir Hiss out of the Disney Robin Hood movie. Was that a tumbleweed? Made a lot of noise for a tumbleweed. Oh. Fun times. Ouch! Yay, we did it. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that like the mining operation they've got going on? Oh! Oh! Look at his sad little face! Bless him. Cactony comes to share his pain. Well, we're not going to avoid him. That'll just make him sadder. We're going to touch him. You give Cactony a careful pat in between two spikes. Does this mean you care about me? It does, lovey. We do care about you over here. Is that healing? Did he give me healing? I think I had full HP, so I don't actually know, but that's so cute. Look at his face now. Oh, bless him. Cactony feels love for the first time. My stone cold heart. Oh, hi there. Watch it. I have places to be. 
Got a call about a job in Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk is really far. Wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go. Fairly certain that'll get you fired in real life. But you do you, boo. You spot a dark, dislodged stone among this pile of rocks. Take it? Yes. Not enough inventory space. I never have enough inventory space. Ooh. I love this track. This is very funky. A set of cubbies dividing the miner's personal belongings. A bow tie, a snow globe, trivia books, cobwebs, all very useful. You notice a discarded belt buckle lying in one of the compartments. Take it? Yes. Not enough space! Never enough space. I hate it when there's multiple exits and I don't know which way I'm meant to go. Oh, hi there, sir. He looks like an unknown out of Pokemon. As a slime, I'm outraged. How, how, how am I going to get to my station now? The elevator door is jammed, man. Jammed. Okay, I see. A piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. What could fix this poor elevator? A steel buckle? You start rubbing the steel buckle against the flint. Oh, did I just set fire to the place? The flint crumbled away and the buckle melted. Oh, well, we fixed the elevator. He looks absolutely terrified for his life, though. He does not trust my fixing. Bless him. Look at him. He's like, oh, we've reached our destination. Off he goes. See ya. In case of water, swim. Okay, that's useful. Golly, the emblems on these minor uniforms are very interesting. Guess I'm the boss round here. Jokes aside, you got some smarts. Fix the elevator with ease. Proud of you. Oh. Oh, okay. Bowl charges near you. Is he spinning a plate on his tail? Console, you ask Bowl to open up and be genuine with you. But I... I am tough. Well, that is a really sweet attack, that is. Oh my god. Bull is beginning to put the pieces together. You use your bandana to wipe away some mud on Bull. He sparkles. I didn't know I could reflect so much. Thank you. Ooh. Interesting attack. Bull is ready to discover his true self. What another amazing, like, idea and concept. A china bull? Like, maybe a play on the like a bull in a china shop. Hey, just in time. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo jumbo lying around, yeah? Well, corporate said we have to solve puzzles as we work to exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door until work's done. Pretty unnecessary if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? <laughs> Everybody knows a co-worker who's like that, don't they? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. What happens if I push these? Do they not... Okay, well, that's fine then. Oh, okay, I see. Do blue. Nice. And then do that one. There we go. All in the right ones. The path has been opened. What do you have to say for that then? Great job. I knew you could do it, kid. Won't be another job until tomorrow. I can spend the rest of my work day doing absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. I already was. <laughs> a lonesome safety jacket hangs on the wall. Take it. Yes, please. You got the safety jacket. Can I put it on? You donned the stunning highlighter yellow jacket. You're all ready to take care of business. I lost all my TNT. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure. But it's my fault. I'll go tell him right now, but I lost my hard heart as well. I can't protect my dome from the hazardous rocks outside. Today isn't my day. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to find a hard heart for him, which is... Oh, it's gonna move away now, isn't it? What? What are you... Why? Oh, I gotta chase him towards him. Chase, chase, chase. Chase, chase, chase. There we go. He's got it. You found my hat. You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I am eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. <laughs> that sucks. I want a present. Ouch. Okay. Okay. This is not very pleasant. Ow! Friggin' hell, that was a bit extreme. You notice the UGPS logo on the crates. It appears that they can handle more than letters. At least some sort of shady company that are doing all sorts of shady practices. He looks like a happy dude, doesn't he? I just adore mining. Mine, 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 day and night. Gonna find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. I'm happy for you, dude. 
I'm happy for you. Shelf is lined with several books, some educational, some recreational. A book titled Gemstone Fever catches your eye. Read it? Yes. The underground has been the home to thousands of gemstones. Yet only four types have been discovered. The Swelter Stone, hue yellow. This stone emits immense heat, some depending on its size. It is also the brightest stone frequently used to illuminate various underground locations. The Glacial Stone, hue blue, opposite of the Swelter Stone, emits a frigid temperature. This stone is abundant in cooler areas such as Snowdon and Waterfall. The Aromatic Stone, hue green. This rare stone smells like apples. That is all. <laughs> the pink stone, hue in the name. No trait for this stone has been discovered as of publication. You close the book and put it back. You are now dizzy with gemstone fever. <laughs> it has been two days without a workplace accident. <laughs> this cactus does not need love. <laughs> Hi, lady. Hello there. My name is Angie. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you? Hazards. Yes, I'm aware of the dangers that lie outside the mines. I could investigate, but my husband, Gilbert, needs to take more initiative. I asked him to do it. Let's see. Six hours ago. Ugh. <sighs> Baby steps. Anyways. I've heard that several hazards have been seen around the dunes. I hope it isn't those wild east monsters pulling pranks. They tend to step out of line every now and then. I can't help but feel they're a bad influence on Moray. Ah, oh, these matters don't pertain to you. I apologise. This business is more important than it may seem. It isn't easy for monsters to find a job these days. For that reason, we hire anyone who applies. All except for children. I think that's illegal. <laughs> you have a good journey. And it could get rocky. Haha, <laughs> good one, dear. I've been waiting to say that. That's my Angie. Aww. Welcome to the Mining Co Mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, Please take it up with my assistant. Gilbert, please, we've been married 27 years. An empty cart sits on the rails. Hop in, yes. Let's do it. Oh, it's so pretty. So many good moments in this game. So many really scenic, like, cinematic moments. That's beautiful. All of the rocks twinkling. That was so good. I loved that. Some stale fruitcake sits in a bucket left over from a mining co holiday party. Take it. Yes, of course. You got fruitcake. I want stale fruitcake that's been left out all year. Absolutely. Hello, visitor. Did you venture through the whole mine? What a journey. For your troubles, I'll let you in on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. We're actually mining for minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see. They're also very... Did you just eat that? You saw nothing. Listen, bud, you do you. You do you, buddy. It's no skin off my nose. Up oh, another elevator. Bye-bye, Clover. Oh, this is so atmospheric. Howdy. Oh, wow. Gee, would you look at that? I can almost see the king's castle from here. Heh. <laughs> Asgore. Monster shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See, he's what they call a boss monster. It means he has special traits, more power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact, but only for a moment before Boom. You win. I've had the guys immortal too. Can't age a second. At least not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all that info scare you. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you. A true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my power for what's to come. Extremely atmospheric up here. Oh, th those are the rocks that have been thrown down onto the cliffside. A piece of paper is stapled to the machine. Built to order by Hotland Mechanics. Signature of ownership, North Star. A classic Rock Dropper 900. Technology is amazing. Rock Dropper 900. Why is somebody dropping rocks over the side of the cliff there? Why are they doing that? What a beautiful little environment. Look at that. Oh, this is amazing. 
This is so beautiful. Not like Saharan sun. What was that? Keep walking. Twinkly stars in the sky as well. Oh, what was that? Halt! I, El Belador, have tasked myself with confrontation. The air is much too quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance. Oh lord. To truly find oneself, they must ignite a passion within. Let us duel. I want to see your spirit of fire. One and two and. Oh. Okay, I need to press Z, is it? It's time to dance. Uh, twirl. You clumsily spin around. El Bilador appreciates the effort. Ah, that was much too simple. Let us try this. Okay, we're getting it. This is like Everhood. The sounds of a thousand trumpets echo around you. Smile. You begin to enjoy yourself and let out a grin. El Bilador smiles back. Heating up. This is such good fun. This is amazing. El Bilador throws sand in the air like confetti. You clumsily spin around. He appreciates the effort. The passion, it grows. Okay, doing all right, I think. You feel the rhythm in your soul. Aha, yes. This is what I live for. Ah, oh, damn it. You have to hold the button when you move across. You can't just click it and let it go. Do you have any rhythm? Because it seems like you kind of need it. What was that auto rhythm thing? Can you make it easier? Our life without dance is empty, I say. Some of these bits are quite difficult when you have to get from one side to the other. Others say that dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. That was a bit of a difficult one, but we got through it. Let's eat something. Sponge cake. You lick the frosting off the sponge. Your mouth feels squeaky clean. My mouth just like did this twitchy thing at the idea of biting into a sponge. It just made me like think, ugh. It gave me the ick. Your mouth feels squeaky clean. Your HP was maxed out. The world of solitude and silence, that is not for me. The underground is much too depressing, you see. We're getting a bit tricky here, dude. We are trapped within a barrier with no hope for freedom. A sad, sad situation, but it is not sad for I. We're surviving. That's the main thing. It's getting really quick now, though. We must make do with what we have. Find time for activities that make us happy. I'm outgoing because happiness is not a quiet virtue. I often encourage monsters in hope that it is contagious. I mean, I disagree there because I'm a pretty quiet person, like in the real world and I'm happy, to be honest. I do things that make me happy, so. Oh, I saved myself there. Even if monster kind is cursed to this grim state, we must stick it out to the end, all the way up to the finale. Oh, that was difficult, but we got through. Is he happy now? You absolute dick.
Oh my god, I was getting so freaking salty about that. I can't even tell you how salty I was getting about that fight. Those last few attempts, I was getting really bad. Like, really, really bad. I actually was browsing a Reddit thread that said, Rhythm illiterate people, how are you doing this? It's so freaking hard. And people were saying that they got a bit enraged by that fight. So I'm definitely not alone, but love the concept, just too difficult for me. <laughs> puff, puff, you have proven your passion, little one. I apologise if the dance was strenuous on your health. It was, mate. My mental health. Sometimes having fun means a few doctor's visits. However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I. Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I have never considered that for a quiet monster such as you. Ah, well. I at least hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. I could have had a fulfilling journey and a bright day without you making me dance and honestly giving me so much freaking salt. Can't even express how much salt. It's a satchel. Pick up the dimensional satchel. Yes, you got the dimensional satchel. What does that do? Oh, does it give me more room? Oh, sweet. Up we go. Oh, down we go. Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> I know directions very well. Howdy. Looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. Ah. <sighs> This playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. Attention! Gift shop ahead! Ooh, nice. I love a gift shop. There's one mug on the shelf. <laughs> Dip right up. We've got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mug. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now. Only 40 G, booker. I don't have that much money. Sorry. Disappointed, but not surprised. Can I just steal it? What happens if I buy that mug? I do have 52 gold, actually. The sale is over. You had your chance to buy the premium mug, but refused. Looks like it won't find a home anytime soon. Sorry, I don't make the rules to economics. So I can't buy Buy it now. Are you kidding me? I actually just looked at it. Do you have enough money? Never mind. There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% off on all our products. The S in products is crudely scribbled out. Product. <laughs> oh, flowers. Flowers like flowy. Oh, peddler approaches from the flower bed offering you a flower. Accept. You reach for peddler's offering. Here you go. Oh, I missed the Healy one. Peddler starts humming a song you recognize. Flatter. You tell Peddler she's the sweetest flower girl in the underground. Do you really mean that, hun? Gosh, you've made me the happiest florist around town. Oh, okay. I just got absolutely trashed on. However, Peddler wants me to know that I am loved. You reach for Peddler's offering. Here you go. Peddler lets out a long smile. Okay, so you have to catch the green one in order to be able to spare her. I get it. Yes, yeah, Flowey. Gee, it looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on Clover. Great. Oh, it's Martlet. Clover, you're alive. You're here. You're here. I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in that cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself? I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead. Like, what is wrong with me? It's okay. I, yes, thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw it, what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So I, uh, sat by a cactus for an hour thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here you were. So I'm deeply sorry. Forgive. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I don't understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? 
Welcome. Just like another resort. Oh, it's a little pyramid crab. Like the igloo crab. Pinch, pinch. Hehe. <laughs> Beware of my pincers, traveler. Oh my god, they're adorable. Love them. Little oasis. This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? Your reflection sparkles and distorts in the pool of water. You notice a high tech filtration system keeping it drinkable. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, isn't it? Is it always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowdin, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you should know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot round here? See, so like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. Cafe. This looks cute. Have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Who's this cool looking bird person? I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better themselves. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi! Yeah, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it though. I hear there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. Bet you could totally kick its butt out of order. Please stop feeding it money. <laughs> Spend three gold to play. Yeah, sure. Mew Mew Love Blaster. Oh my god, this is so cool. Probably gonna be rubbish at this though, let's be honest. Mew Mew Love Blaster! <laughs> Avoid sadness, spread the joy. Oh, I have to press enter. Uh oh, I'm dead. Oh man. Oh man. So is there like an entire thing you can do with this? Like reach the end of this and find the final boss? Because that's really cool if so. Uh oh, I'm dead again. I got a higher score than last time though. Okay, well what I may do with this is I may come back and try that later, like in another playthrough. This is very cool. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only five gold per fortune. Now you may be thinking that price is a little low. What quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs five gold? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Sure, let's do it. Let's just see what the world has in store for you. Hmm. Oh dear. The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh no, no, no. It looks like a big one too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Uh, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. <laughs> What's this place? Oh, hello. Visiting from the Wild East, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. That is sweet. His little grass patch. You found 30 gold in one of the pants pockets! Take it! Yes! Holy moly, yes! Sorry, dude, I just stole somebody from you, but you shouldn't have left it there, dude. Okay, onwards. A large, ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. Is there a way to unlock that, then? Ah, there's some steps here. Free hugs! Oh! Hey, dude! I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Dan, you already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. I'll have a free hug! No, don't bother asking. I'm closing shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course. That'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal, and now you definitely will hug me. Just walk away. It'll be better for both of us. No, I want to hug you. You still want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they are very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you earn, they're like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. Okay, I kind of still want a hug, but I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. Oh, I really do want a hug though, dude. Bake sale, bake sale. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders, or proceeds go to spiders in need. Will you buy a spider donut for seven gold? I sure will. I must buy a spider donut in any game that I play. 
It's a sand igloo. That's an interesting concept. A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential but has yet to reach it. One day it might. What an amazing environment this is. Ooh! Oh hey, Clover! Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry, I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry, I just... Get it often. It's totally fine. You won't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. <laughs> anyway. What's your name? It's Clover. Huh? No, not you, silly. Huh? Uh, I... Actually, how about Red? That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hoped that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. It might just be wiser to join the Royal Guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic. I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, uh, it's fine. What? Can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh. You're serious? Uh, ha, ha, I mean, uh, sure? Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. Sorry, I'm not home. <laughs> That's me every day. Every day of my life. I am not home. This is very cool and atmospheric. It reminds me of the final corridor in Undertale. Oh my god. It's a big cactus. Sorry, buddy, this path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behaviour. <laughs> Girl boss behaviour. Water well. The June's wishing well. Hold a G to close your chest. Hold a G close to your chest. Think of what you want most and toss it in. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, I left all my gold at home. Would you lend me one? Yes. Thank you. Hmm. I wish... But Clover will make it back home safely. Oh, that's cute. Now you have me and a wish on your side. That is pretty cute, to be fair. Martlet Naruto runs. Like when you run from side to side. She Naruto runs. Very quiet here. Huh? Hang on, I think someone's coming this way. Guys, looky here. Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. She looks like Undyne. For once, don't look like it is. Hiya, strangers. Oh, uh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Uh. Why did you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never. Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. Are my pals giving you trouble? Come now. That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? The name's North Star. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together, we are... The Feisty Five. <laughs> That's cool. Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Youthfulness. Justice. The J is silent. Anyway, <laughs> now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy? Are they a uh, human? Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Sure thing. The little squeak sound. 
Oh my god, look at the expression on Clover's face. Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, uh, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. Just want to see a question, Feathers. Clover and I have got a town to run. Don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Matla of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Osgore for this abrasive behaviour. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armour? Weapon? Badge? I left it all at my post in Snowden. Please, don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I'm truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the feisty six. The alliteration. <laughs> yeah, the alliteration is gone. You can't get rid of the alliteration. Shh. Sk. Clever. I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry. I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Martlet is upset. There'll be a buzzkill, Moray. When's the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. <clears throat> this town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. I can't get over Clover's expression. It's so funny. Barkeep! Growlers of the ice water! I have an announcement to make. This little fella here is Clover. Hey, Star, what the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? So Robo, shush! Now I know what you're all thinking, but trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me! Alright, no more heckling from the crowd. <clears throat> Ladies and gentle monsters, as Sarubba said, Clover is a human. Ooh. I know, exciting stuff. A real honour. Now, I would like Clover to tell you all about the life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh great, here we go. Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh. It's true. Large, four-legged monsters. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called Horses Star. Ah, so you know one of them personally? That's quite impressive. Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. <laughs> so the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? No, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover, did the monsters die? No? See? Everyone's fireproof. Anyways, did you know that- Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true. Every word. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. I'm pretty damn good, aren't I? You're the best! Yeah, the only sheriff for me! <laughs> well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. As for you, Clover, it's about time you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing y you have where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring, talk to the townsfolk, and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Well, this is really fun. Reminds me of Prilby's. North Star is the coolest. One time, a construction team was demolishing a building in New Home, but uh-uh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly, North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking a sweat. Yeehaw, yeehaw. For saving its life, the building gave North Star one million gold. Oh my god. So the joke being that he saved the building's life and not the child's life. Amazing. Love that so much. True story, true story. What an introduction, right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages can be scary. Oh, wooden. Occasionally making faces at you. What do you want? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck. Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. 
I studied hard I graduated middle school. What else do you need? Stuck my way into gig booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day this robot fella rolled up to me and asked if I've ever produced an artist. Now I'm a great producer. Make hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had to tell them but I lacked the vision. I told that one wheel television they wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They soon garnered a following and totally exploded. Not literally, maybe. Look kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. He's talking about Metaton, isn't he? The saloon isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see? Half price drinks. But you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. <laughs> Is that a cat? Several monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? Look at this guy, he's just a bunch of eyeballs with hats on them. The male whales here. You're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm? You look confused. Oh right, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job, wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will- Oh me, oh my, my break's come to an end. See you next time, there's letters to send. <laughs> Bye bye. You sense cannibalistic intent. Oh, there's a beer drinking beers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cannibalistic intent. Oh, this is so cool. She's got a, a snake scarf. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my words. Hard hitting stuff is off limits. Adult soda. I want the adult soda. This town. Oh, this little place is pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back when the dunes gained its name, if you get me. I should be polished on this history, but star don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. These fellas are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. The underground still houses some critters from the surface, like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in a crevasse of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Have fun out there. Alright, let's leave now. Oh, you there, human. You okay? Not really. About what I expected. I apologise for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Sarova. I'm a friend of Stars, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier, you probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit, roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... Ah, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Well, she seems nice. She's like a wolfy waifu. Oh my god, Flowey's got a, a cowboy hat on. Howdy. Gee, seems like my greeting has found its home. Like the hat is a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separated from Martlet is pretty lucky, but I hope this star guy doesn't hold you here for long. I may have to intervene if he does. What does that mean, Flowey? Okay, I'm gonna leave this video here for today. Again, absolutely loving this game. Loving all the environments. They're really, really fun. Got really salty about that rhythm game battle thing, but hey. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. It really, really helps. And I will see you in episode four of this game. See ya!